Hello, everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Bachelor Rachel Kirkconnell and Matt James are still going strong. At the last road ceremony of his season, he made her his choice. Due to the controversy sparked by old pictures she posted on social media, they temporarily parted ways. They have been together ever since they reconnected and overcame that obstacle. Fans still wonder when Matt would pop the question because they have been together for so long. Does he feel under a lot of pressure to get things done quickly because of this? Continue reading to learn more. Does Matt James, The Bachelor, feel under pressure to ask a question? Since his season debuted in 2021, Matt James and Rachel Kirkconnell have been together. They took a little break, but it wasn't long. Supporters fervently hope that these two white people frequently inquire about their plans to get engaged shortly. Given how many people are asking Matt about it, does he feel under pressure? Matt was contacted by US Weekly to discuss his proposal to Rachel. Matt claims he doesn't feel any pressure at all. He said that Rachel and he are getting along well, and that they will just keep doing things their way, and at their own pace. We're doing great, he said. It seems to me that when you are under pressure, you are not wanting to do anything. Since I've always wanted to get married, I've never felt particularly under pressure to do so. It's also something we plan to do eventually. That is our goal and the reason we are together. My excitement for the future is high. Fans may thus relax knowing that it will arrive eventually. He needs to think creatively. Additionally, Matt Jane stated that he will need to think creatively when deciding to ask Rachel to marry him. He disclosed that she asks a ton of questions and is really perceptive. She requires an explanation for their actions. He remarked, I'll have to think outside the box when the time comes. I'll have to distort the facts in order to justify our actions. Additionally, Matt said that while he has no regrets overall, he would have something to say if he could go back in time and advise his younger self. I would say just enjoy the process, he remarked. It will be chaotic, but have faith in yourself. How do you feel about Matt claiming he is under no pressure to ask Rachel to marry him? Do you believe he has any plans? 25 of The Bachelor, Matt James and Rachel Kirkconnell, a pair from Bachelor Nation, fell in love. The duo has been using social media to inform fans about their lives ever since they appeared on the show. Additionally, if you've been following Matt and Rachel, you are aware of how big of foodies these two are in Bachelor Nation. This week, Matt went to an event called Kels Jam, which was hosted by none other than Travis Kels. They tour the world together, sharing their favorite eateries and regional delicacies. Matt had a conversation about his favorite meals with Taylor Swift, the football player that Travis is rumored to be dating. Matt began by asking Trav what his favorite dish that his mother Donna Kels prepares is. Travis remarked, I think my mom's chicken noodle soup is the nicest dish she makes for me when I'm just not feeling well. My fave is the one. Then when Travis is cooking, Matt asks him what his favorite dinner is on a date night. Says Travis, I'm cooking. I have, however, lately acquired the skill of creating homemade pasta, including the actual noodles. I suppose I would prepare some noodles with shrimp and some hot garlic and lemon. Add my favorite ingredients and it would taste like shrimp linguine. You can see that I'm not a cook. It seems like he and Taylor had a great dinner. Comments from fans quickly flooded the page with messages like, Travente making pasta at home. Amazingly adorable thing ever. And my favorite thought right now is picturing Taylor teaching him how to cook. We adore this adorable interaction between Matt and Travis, and couldn't agree more. Watch Fans the entire nation are eager to see how Jen Tran's much-awaited bachelorette journey plays out beginning next month. Furthermore, as revealed on Joey Graziette's season of The Bachelor, 
Jen is presently enrolled in school to fulfill her ambition of working as a physician's assistant. Jen is now using social media to provide an update on her time in PA school and to say whether or not she intends to stay in school once she becomes the bachelorette. Everyone has been asking this question for a while now, Jen stated in a recent video. People are curious as to whether I'm leaving PA school. Yes is the response. Not at all. You people are insane. I'm not quitting PA school, I promise. I'm only taking a brief vacation. I obviously took a short hiatus to film The Bachelorette, but now that I'm back, I find myself in a bit of a bind because I have a lot of press appearances coming up. My life is just going through so much right now. I spend every other weekend in Los Angeles. She disclosed that her initial intention was to complete her emergency rotation this summer as it was her task prior to departing to shoot The Bachelorette. However, Jen clarified, saying, I wasn't thinking because I want to be able to fully focus on my work here at school and on this because this is actually the craziest time of my life. Accordingly, my current goal is to postpone my emergency rotation until September, when the show will end and the commotion will subside. That seems like the perfect option for me, she continued. I can concentrate on it, and I'll be able to enter my shifts having studied and had time to really immerse myself in it. I could do the seven shifts I need to make up right now but I wouldn't be giving it my all since I would be preoccupied with other things. Jen stated that her ultimate aim is to become a PA. Therefore, learning and performing well are just as important to her as finishing the shifts. She stated at the end of her video that while her immediate plans are still a little unclear, she is certain of her long-term goals. The truth is, yes, I am returning to school, Jen stated, I am aware that everyone has a wide range of ideas about it, despite people's belief that I won't. I'm going to carry it out. Working and studying for this moment is what I have dedicated my entire life to. I've come to the end of the roughest year. I'm not just going to put it off and not finish, she continued. That would be very out of character for me, as I have always sought a career in medicine. My age is 26. I have all of my life to complete PA school, so it really won't be the end of the world if I had to postpone things by a year. See more in Jen's video above, and don't forget to watch The Bachelorette premiere on ABC on July 8 to witness the conclusion of her love tale. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and don't miss any updates.